Hello everyone, Bob is in the house and today we have a new album release by Jack Harlow. He has new seven tracks which I'm excited about but um, before we do that I just want to mention how uh, right now I'm just currently feeling okay. Uh, I'm feeling very neutral. Um, I have a smile on my face because I used to, I'm used to smile on the camera but uh, to be honest these days have been pretty um, hectic, pretty chaotic, uh, and you know, as a human, it feels, uh, you know, it, it's okay to feel that, you know, we are all over the place when we uh, are confused and we don't know what's happening, and uh, you know, this uh, coronavirus thing is pretty new to us, um, you know, most of us at this age, you and I, for example, uh, I'm assuming that you are like in your 20s or your 30s, um, have not really experienced something um, that has been like a ep epidemic or pandemic and um for us it's pretty new um and like we think wow this now like what's gonna happen like this world is gonna always gonna be this way only gonna be worse but um you know in history this is not the first time where something like this happens and um people get through these things and uh, this shall pass as well we will uh, survive this thing hopefully most of us <laughs> and uh, and it's not and apparently it's not that vicious it's not that um deadly as it 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 might seem because of the because all of the attention in the media and like you know fear that we have right now on coronavirus but it's um you know it's a little bit stronger than flu but uh, there are still other diseases that are actually much more deadly to a human body that we're not even like um talking about or like uh don't tend to think about like hiv and aids are still much more much more superior superior um threat to our bodies than uh coronavirus for example it's just new thing that we don't have a cure for yet so that's why it's all shocking right now but again this all shall pass to end i just want you to acknowledge that it's fine to feel like for example <laughs> I, uh, yesterday I was feeling very sad you know I I've discovered that Tom Hanks um, got coronavirus and then now uh, NBA uh, NBA uh, stopped this, this, their season uh, soccer you know I'm, I'm a fan of soccer uh, also pretty much now stopping their games at this point uh, because like I've uh, discovered that Arsenal uh, I don't know if you're into soccer or not but um, or football much more proper to say I just I'm just saying soccer because I'm in America right now but um in football uh, Arsenal uh, Chelsea's player Callum Hudson Odoi he got um, coronavirus apparently in Juventus Dybala he has uh, coronavirus you know so um, people we know are also getting coronaviruses it's it's a big threat um, and I understand that you were not probably ready for coronavirus talk again because this medium youtube is pretty much uh, for most of us you use it as an entertainment as an escapism uh, escapism uh where uh we like want to avoid the problems we have and just want to be entertained i understand that you are here for jack harlow and we're we're gonna listen to it definitely i'm excited for it uh, but i just want to acknowledge that we are in this, we are living in the same world and we are actually also entertainers are also also humans and uh, we are living together we are in this together we are living in the same planet so i'm here feeling probably you know in, in very similar ways like you're feeling right now so um with that being said though let's get into entertainment shall we <laughs> jack harlow new album it's called sweet action track one What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. Mm. Just hopped in. I got oh, options. Jesse, I can man, pass it to the bitch like Just Josh, I'm spending this holiday locked in. Bop for the bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jazz song. Give me that tempo. This beat is very sick, and um, as you probably noticed, I've heard this track before already. I'm doing no worse with asking. What's poppin'? 
Brand new whip just hopped in. All right, so Jack Harlow. Who is Jack Harlow in the first place and why all of a sudden I'm reacting to this man? Basically, Jack, Har Jack Harlow is a rapper. I discovered him in the beginning of 2020, in January. He is um, amazing. He is a cool rapper. He has nice beats. And um, yeah, he's showing a lot of talent. He has a lot of potential, but right now already, his music is pretty dope. Um, but we might see a rising star right now, to be honest. Um, there were times when, you know, for example, John Bally and um, artists like that, they were not as famous, um, or Rosalia, you know, uh, artists like that, um, who were not having this, like, mainstream appeal, but now they do, you know, like, they they skyrocketed, and, like, now they're having huge success. Jack Harlow, I feel like, one of the other artists that can go there Jack Harlow like already people like on the streets I'm hearing his music uh, I'm living in California maybe like if you live uh, in Europe right now or like in Asia wherever you are um, you might not hear Jack Harlow you know because he's American figure he's more right now he's local star rather than um, worldwide uh, phenomenon but Maybe it's just a matter of time, so it's better to get to know him early on and uh, Then you know when people will be discovering him, oh Jack Harlow who is this like off of his like very mainstream uh, Like global hit uh, you will be telling hey like I'm an OG I I knew Jack Harlow like since 2020 like and now you're only discovering him in 2022 <laughs> You know, Like stuff, stuff like that stuff that you and I as music fans love to do, love to point out when uh, we knew something was coming before the general public did. Yeah, so his next song is Too Stylish. Too stylish. Too Loving this beat. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Alright, quite enjoyable. It really is. Track three, we have I Wanna See Some Ass. I, I Wanna See Some Ass too. These beats, bro, they are really cool. Featuring Jensen Made. Man, it doesn't feel like he's doing something special, but it just works. The songs are pretty cool. Uh, it's really pleasant to hear or listen to. And that's how you rack up this uh, streams, you know, on Spotify. Uh, the song smoothly just comes in on your playlist of like, let's say, oh, new fire playlist where you get to discover new artists and Jack Harlow just uh, comes in very smoothly. You know, the flow is really nice. And um, you just, oh, damn, who is this? Let me add this on a playlist and then, like, to my own playlist. And then you start listening to it, you get into it. And it's just like, with that, more and more listens. And um, Jack Harlow, even now, already, if you search him on Spotify and see the listens, the, um, he has quite significant uh, following already at this point. So uh, I just feel like this music is, is kind of easy, like, easy going. It's easy to... Um, listen to it's easy to get attached to and that's what it's gonna like what that's what's gonna make jack harlow famous um quickly in my opinion uh, jack harlow with the right marketing definitely can blow up so um really love the beat uh really love jack harlow's performances again like he has a cool voice nice voice uh and he has a um decent flow he's pretty cool so I, I just I just like to hear him like I listen to him it just um, really makes me happy to be honest like it's just pleasant to listen to just pleasant to play and um, track four it smells like incense incense okay hey she already chose why you tripping she ain't that significant used to have a game but I never went big it smells like incense and incense and mm, I got a chick mm, she a big mm, damn mm. 
Okay, this track was just okay to me to be honest because this flow I've already heard this flow on Confetti, uh, Confetti, uh, his last uh, album, 2019, and um, that's why it was not really special. It, it was not standing out, especially because not only the flow was similar to what I've already heard from him, but also because the beat was not really mesmerizing for me at least i was not really a fan of this beat it was not bad at all but it was again it was just like okay to me um and this was the first song where i felt like there was no progress because usually i mean i haven't heard his like earlier stuff from 2018 for example all i heard was confetti and uh what's popping the single before uh, be the single from this album uh, before listening to this album but from Confetti, or Confetti, probably Confetti, <laughs> uh, he, um, I, I felt the growth on the first three tracks. I thought he grew as an artist. Um, he was doing something better than uh, Confetti. This one was like, oh, okay, it's that level. Uh, and that level was like the tracks I don't really appreciate uh, level because there are definitely much more better tracks then smells like an incense on confetti because uh, confetti is a pretty dope album actually um i love ghost i love sunday night ice warsaw these are the tracks i go to when i listen to confetti let's see if jack harlow will step it up again though on track five six and seven track five is out front I can turn this shit up a couple of thousand. You may say somebody ain't about nothing. Okay, uh, out front, this one was better than track four, but um, a little bit worse than the first three tracks. I feel like the first three tracks were really awesome for me, uh, but now it's a little bit less hyped at least. Maybe I'm just I'm just feeling it that way, I don't know, but um, not necessarily something wrong with this song at all. It's just um, when it comes to energy, when it comes to, uh, you know, braggadocious, cool vibes from Jack Harlow I usually get I yeah I just didn't really feel like that without front but not a bad track at all uh, track six we have hey big head okay the production game is stepping up for sure Hey. Mm. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And the last track we have, Once May Comes. Okay, a uh, pretty cool track actually to close off this album. Uh, I feel like it was the right ener energy, right energy, right atmosphere uh, to close up this album. I um, I like this project, but I do have some some I wouldn't say criticism, but I just feel like there are highlights for me, which are tracks from one to three, and then track six, Hey Big Head, and the other three songs they were just um, okay but when i can compare this to confetti i feel like confetti was a stronger work because confetti had more to offer first of all it had 12 tracks but most of them were actually really good i love pretty much almost every single song out of confetti uh, but here when you know i saw that sweet action has seven tracks only i thought all seven songs are gonna deliver 100% all fire now the songs four five and seven they were um, in a different style a little bit maybe I just don't really prefer uh, Jack Harlow's like more calm songs maybe that's that 
uh, and definitely Jack Harlow has the, this two sides going for him again on this album as well like on Confetti, Confetti also provided uh, some like more chill songs comparing to songs like Ghost for example where it's a straight hip-hop banger but I feel like th th this this time the calmer tracks didn't really do much for me uh, so I don't know I, I just feel like this seven songs could have been a little bit more uh, could have been a little bit more fire while it is still a good project I just feel like Jack Harlow with seven songs with only seven songs should have delivered something amazing and it just it, it just didn't reach the bar that I was expecting again my expectations are my problems I don't know I just uh, the, the satisfaction level um, was not completely met he like the, the satisfaction level like the oh I'm satisfied is here and he like stopped here like he couldn't reach that he was like good like for me this album is like six out of ten right now honestly uh, because again, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to the whole tape again. Uh, I'm for sure gonna come back to track one. What's popping? Well, I was already coming back to it a lot. Anyway, too stylish. I want to see some ass for sure. Uh, and then hey big head. But um, other three songs, they will they can definitely uh, keep playing. I'm not gonna like stop them or switch to other track. Prob like probably for the uh, first couple of listens I'm gonna give. But I'm just not sure what's gonna happen like beyond uh, this uh, first week of listening to Jack Harlow's the new album what's gonna happen like two months down the line where I will be thinking oh I kinda didn't listen to Jack Harlow for a little bit let me just go back and uh, listen to Confetti a little bit um, listen to some uh, highlights from Suit Action and is the song like Smells Like Incense or Out Front gonna be on my head like I'm gonna be like returning to those tracks you know like I, I feel like I'm not you know but, but it's just at this point though so but as of now first reaction 6 out of 10 but again Chuck Harlow is showing a lot of promise um, a lot of talent already a lot of talent uh, so definitely check out the boy the songs I suggested as well give it a listen on Apple Music Spotify give it a try uh, links in the description box below as well on his songs but that's it for me uh, thank you so much for watching if you like this video uh, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button and uh, support me on patreon i'll see you guys in the next one stay safe better stay safe than sorry so i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye